All right, guys, we got a 2018 Mini Cooper uh, Countryman. This is a sport version, so we got our host ready to lift this baby. So, to open this hood, you need to pull the trigger inside. I'll show you that at the end of the video. You need to pull it twice, once or twice. That's the only way you can open the hood, all right? Anyways, once you're under the hood, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this uh, oil cap here. That way we get some air going in the system, so it is pretty tight. So what we'll do is, we'll use our wrench here to turn this. And what this is gonna do is gonna ventilate air into the system. Usually I will put it somewhere here, but I'll put this baby to the side for now because we don't want to damage this stuff. Usually I will put it here, that way the hood doesn't close all the way, but it can damage it. So right now we're gonna get air to go in, that way we'll be able to drain the oil. Don't have a dipstick, I don't see a dipstick, but we don't care about a dipstick. Anyways, I'll show you uh, the capacity that we're gonna put into this baby. I'm gonna call on my parts department, I'm gonna check on my computer, that way we know exactly how much oil this baby takes. Oh, I don't wanna damage the hood up on the ceiling, so we'll put this baby down slowly, and that's it. Let's go lift this baby. Okay, going down underneath. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna make this simple as possible. So down here, you got the square looking box here, square looking box here. This thing, you have to turn this, turn this with the flash screwdriver, turn this all the way, turn this all the way. Should be able to pop this open. Right there's our drainer. Let's turn this a bit more, and this a bit more. Okay, a little bit more. And right down here, we should have our oil filter right there. In the filter, in the center right here, we have a torque and a 32 millimeter. That's how we're gonna remove everything right there. And we'll do it step by step. But anyways, let's start with draining the oil first. Okay, boys and girls. So what we got here is a 17 millimeter. So we're gonna just turn this baby. Okay, so this is gonna bother us a bit. So what you want to do here is hopefully my camera can see all this So it's gonna be a long little bolt And They're hard to turn. Okay, once it starts to move it should be perfectly fine And it's gonna have a small washer on it so pay attention to that And there's our oil start to come down. And bada bing, bada boom, we're gonna put this baby in the floor. I'm gonna have to push my camera a bit back. Yep, there you go. That's perfect right there. Anyways, got my drainer, got the little washer. So we're gonna give it a good 20 minutes so this baby can drain out. Meanwhile, just inspect your uh, drain plug and uh, get the new washer, crush washer. Okay, so what you wanna do is, usually you will get that stuff inside the filter housing. And uh, if you don't, if you wanna reuse the old one, that's fine too. But there's our crush washer and a new, uh, same drain plug. So we're gonna give this baby a good 20 minutes or so. And After that, we want to wipe down on any excessive oil because you don't want no oil in the driveway or for a customer or your car. Once you're done, you don't want oil to just keep on dripping. Anyways, let's give it a good 20 minutes and we'll come back to it. Okay, guys, after a good 20 minutes, you want to take your drain plug. You want to stick this baby back in and hand hand catch all the threads by hand and then just snug it with your... 17 millimeter what I want to do here is uh, let me just wipe off a bit okay that's that so we're gonna take this you don't want to go crazy because it's aluminum okay you will damage that pan then you're in trouble anyways let's wipe all this off if you want to spray some brake cleaner parts cleaner you can do so but this is perfectly fine so what we're gonna do here is, make sure double check your drain plug, make sure it's nice and tight, nice and clean. Uh, we're gonna close this baby up, turn this back on, turn this 
Oops, too far. That's fine. It's okay. It will come back down. There you go. Perfect. We're done here. We're gonna move over to this hole right here, this board. So you could use a torque to remove the center, but what I am gonna be doing here is we're gonna go directly onto the filter and in here. Let me show you guys. So at least you could see before we go. See that? That's your oil filter housing. 32 millimeter or what I'm gonna be using here is one one inch and a one quarter socket okay I'm gonna just turn this baby hard for the camera to get in there but this is what it look like one inch and a one quarter and I'm gonna go get a ratchet for this we're gonna go directly onto this baby turn 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 these are the magic turns here. Only thing is, if you don't take out the center thing, you're going to have all start shooting at you. That's fine. And let's see if I can turn this by hand now. So we're going to have a quite a bit of oil to shoot down on us. That's normal. Okay, so there's our oil filter housing and everything. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pull out this filter. Okay. Just like that, I am gonna go swap up that seal right here and we will continue in a moment. My camera might run because I got oil all over me, but that's fine. So if you guys have the proper tools, you might wanna take off that center and let the oil drain out of there. Otherwise, you're gonna have a mess. So it's a lesson learned, it's all good. Oh, morning. Yeah, man. What's up? Good. It's Spanish, no? No, it's Spanish, man. Okay. Uh, uh. Hey, my friend, this is maybe this, this scrap. The roller. What, what? Oh, scrap. No, I got a buddy. I got a friend who does. I have my own buddy that does scrap. So I give it to him. Oh, okay. Okay, since I didn't take this baby off, it comes a new one. So I'll make the mistake I made. Take this baby off first. I wanted to show you this because over there we can't see. Over here you can see, okay? So let me give you the size. This is uh, size here, T55. Okay, so this baby comes off. Once you take this off, you give it a good five minutes. So this thing is garbage here. And all the oil is going to dispose out of here. So on the new one, you want to put a little bit of oil on this seal right here. Just with your hands. And just like I got a little bit on my finger. And then you stick this baby back in. Okay, there you go. And we're not done yet. We got one more seal to change. Tighten this baby hand tight, okay? Don't go crazy, it's plastic. So once you have that off, we're gonna take this little guy here. We're gonna remove this seal. Very important, you don't change this seal, you're gonna have small leaks over time. And Within 5,000 miles, you're gonna have a big mess underneath the vehicle. So you take this little guy, you put this O-ring on, make sure you get it back to the same groove. It's the last groove that we took off. Okay, there you go. Little bit of this, see the same oil here? You can just submerge it all over the seal so it can sit properly in there. Let me clean my hands off. And then the last thing you're gonna do here is, you're gonna take your filter. Okay, see this little notch is here? This sticks right in there and you should feel a click, just like that. You take this baby, stick this baby in there, catch the threads. I didn't get it on the first try. Not too much oil here. Okay, so. The problem you're gonna have is 
See this old filter? The new one's gonna be a little bit tight from right here, so you're gonna have to push it really hard. So what I did was, I put that thing on my tool and I turned it slowly, make sure you catch the threads good. Once you capture it, you're gonna turn, turn, till you feel it locks up and no more than that. It's plastic, you don't wanna break it. I felt it locking and that's it, okay? You can even touch and feel the two slots should be flush like that. The filter housing, the filter cap and the housing, you shouldn't feel no groove in between. Anyways, I'm gonna clean this up a bit and then we'll go back up at the top. All you need to do is close these two up and you're done. Make sure you clean it really nice. Okay guys, so we're done. This is a 2.0 four cylinder engine. So it's a turbo 2.0 and this takes 5.6 quarts of oil. So we got this oil over here. We still need missing a little bit. So I'm gonna put this whole thing inside and then later on we'll add a little bit more. And uh, so we got our funnel here. Should be very simple to do oil change on this car. Just like any other car. Only thing is it doesn't have a dipstick so you cannot check it. So just make sure you know how much is the capacity for your engine. And that's about it. After that, reset your light. You're all good to go. You can always measure the oil that you pull out of the engine. And make sure you check down below, nothing is leaking. Just let the engine run for a few minutes. Keep an eye on it in the bottom. And that's it, after that you're satisfied. You're good to go. There it goes. Done. So remember, we need a little bit more oil. So we will top it off just a 0.6 of a quart and make sure you close up the cap. So here's the cap. So make sure you close up the cap. If you leave that open, you're gonna have check engine light, misfire, vacuum leak, all kinds of crazy stuff. So that's it. Make sure you reset the light after that and double check all your work.